Wir dachten damals, die ÖFJ machte ja immer große Pfingsttreffen in den 70er Jahren. Dachten, wir müssen auch ein schwules Pfingsttreffen haben. Obwohl wir wieder bestes Tuntenwetter hatten, war das Wasser doch recht kalt. Doch den kräftigsten Männern macht das natürlich nichts aus. Wir hatten ja schon gleich von Anfang an drei Schwerpunkte gesetzt. Der erste war, wir sind Familie. Der Kreis, der dort ist, übernimmt alle Funktionen vom Verreisen, vom Weihnachten feiern und so weiter. Der zweite Punkt, wir machen Aufklärungsarbeit in der schwulen Subkultur, so hieß das ja damals, oder schwul-lesbischen Subkultur. Und der dritte Punkt war, wir machen Öffentlichkeit in der DDR-Gesellschaft. Kennen tun wir uns seit 63, 64. 7. Februar. 63 und 64 hat es geschnackelt. 48 Jahre. 47. Er will nur schneller Goldbeute haben wir ein Irrtum. Unser Ziel war, ganz normal zu leben. Von vielen wurde vielleicht auch von den Schwulen, von den Jüngeren vielleicht auch als Duckmäuser oder als, na ja, ihr, ihr habt, macht nichts dagegen. Wir wollten ganz normal leben. Wir haben uns auch angeglichen, mehr oder weniger. Man wollte nicht auffallen. Jochen Heck, Andreas Strohfeld, very, uh, very warm welcome to the Berlinale and to the Teddy Awards, of course. You brought a, a political documentary in a way to to the festival which deals with the biographies um, and political identities of gay and lesbian people in the former east of Germany so what was maybe to start out with the, the inspiration for this film why did you decide to to put this documentary out and show it at the festival well I was once uh, uh, working for the gay television company here and we had worked together on a film before which was in Russia which I did and um, uh, for this gay television he uh, suggested to do a 45 minutes uh, um, uh, film about the Russian gay scene and, and I thought why not do one first about the East German gay scene because maybe that's for our spectators and because it's in German and everything uh, 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 the best thing. So so he started to to do research and um, um, we um, had a half hour, no, 45 minutes uh, a TV documentary first about the topic and then did a totally different one, uh, a feature length thing uh, later on, which is now out. Okay. And until recently, there was um, perfectly um, in the in the, um, uh, in the in the public was almost nothing known about the gay and lesbian scene in the GDR. There were some books, but uh, with um, very little um, 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 covering. And so we decided to uh, recover what was happening during the GDR mm -hmm. uh, with homosexuality, with lesbian and gays. And it was a really interesting uh, research and then a really uh, interesting um, conversation with the people who are in the film and with the other people who are not in the film. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's, let's go back and mm -hmm. unravel it a little bit. So if we talk about the former East and the gay community, mm -hmm. how How did it exist and how did it differ also from the Western community maybe? I mean, of course, since uh, uh, there were two main differences. One difference is that you could really have bars, like commercial bars in, in the West. Uh, um, and also in the West, maybe there was one thing which was also different, that the paragraph 175 was uh, in charge uh, much longer than in the East. Um, uh, however, in the East, the problem was that whenever you wanted to gather, um, it, you could only gather or, or come together in groups when you were allowed by the state or when you got permission. 
and the gays never got any permission, at least uh, until the uh, early 80s, when uh, generally the GDR allowed uh, opposition groups and um, together under the roof of the church, under the umbrella of the church. And this is when the gay movement in the GDR started. What we also found out is that already back in the 70s, and we didn't find that out, that was, but, but, but it hasn't been in film yet, that already in the 70s there was a group of really communist and very eagerly um, uh, um, uh, proud GDR guys who uh, uh, formed their own group in the early 70s and always tried to uh, constitute a group. But it took them seven or eight years and they never uh, got the permission for it. And uh, what we have in the film, which is quite an interesting thing, is like maybe also the very, very first um, the very, very first uh, uh, gay demonstration which happened during the World Youth Festival where about 30,000 people from all over the world in 1973 came to Berlin and there was also Peter Tatchell who is an activist from, from London and he put up a placard uh, uh, about homosexual rights for gays in the GDR and he was beaten up but more by his own people than even by the GDR. Uh, so that was a demonstration, yeah, he, was he a traveled demonstration. to the GDR? He, he traveled, traveled to the GDR okay, as, 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 as part of the British delegation because uh, communist delegations from all over the world came to this youth festival in 73. Oh, okay, this okay, uh, ha okay. was held in East Berlin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from there was, there was, um, uh, so, sorry, there was another difference because uh, in the GDR um, the influence of the Catholic Church uh, and uh, other radicalists from the church and mentality was not so big then, for instance, in the Federal Republic of Germany because um, the um, uh, communists were against the church. And uh, that's why I think it is um, one of the most um, um, interesting moments that mm -hmm. the uh, gay movement mm -hmm. um, organized um, under the roof of the church mm -hmm. yes. um, himself yes. in the beginning of the 80s that the church, the um, Protestant church, opened to gays and lesbians, though the mm -hmm. tradition, the um, uh, Christian tradition or the church or uh, religious tradition um, was not in pro of gays as we know um, mm -hmm. for centuries. Mm -hmm. So from what I understand that especially in the GDR too, it was not only a question of sexuality, yeah, but it was, it was really, always yeah. connected to either politics or religion. Yeah, it was always uh, so co connected to, to they, they always wanted to control everything. And of course, uh, uh, the GDR had a family policy, which was very much into like that you married with age 19 and you, you got even uh, 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 money from the state, uh, which you had loans uh, with very low interest in order to fund a family and get children because they needed children, they needed workers and everything. So for them, for a big part, like also in, in Western Germany, uh, 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 the model of what gays and lesbians would bring into society was not really uh, a, a, a favorite thing. So, it, so, so it, it, sexuality was really very much regulated by the state? In, no. in, in, not, yeah. not really regulated by the state, it was more like they, they, they had their norm they had their norm but of course uh, there was sexuality in the state and we know that uh, uh, some people say that this was one of the biggest funds in the GDR was to have sex because it was free and you could do it in your own rooms and uh, there was no control over it so so, so I, I, I wouldn't say that, that, that there was really a big control over uh, 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 sex but there, they didn't promote homosexuality because they thought this is really a decadent thing and this is nothing we would uh, really like to support in society. Although there were always different um, uh, currents, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, some people were a little bit more advanced. But however, also uh, the GDR was a little bit petit bourgeois, like, like uh, uh, Western Germany was as well. Because, I mean, they're the same people and it's the same tradition. I mean, you, you don't change within 10 years after the war. Totally. 
um, relating to um, sexuality, even most people, um, most of the interviews, uh, interviews um, we have dealt with, even thought that it was much more easy in the GDR. That means in this former times to get sex, to have sex, and to have uh, uh, some more meetings in the um, homosexual underground and the community. Mm -hmm. um, so even we, we even, even the, easier the, the, than, the, than, than than today. But um, yeah. um, the, the the point was that you had the policy from one kind, and the other the other side uh, society was developing developing for themselves, uh, so that um, um, this kind of question in society was not was not raised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so when you were talking about that the kind of access to sexuality was maybe even easier than than, than today, mm -hmm. where would they where where were these gatherings happening? Did they have like sex parties, or were there uh, the people who bars or? Uh, toilets are like how you know. How uh, the problem was, of course, the coming out. The coming out period from um, when you begin to uh, understand that you are gay, and that in the GDR it was not a uh, but that it was not a topic. There was no information. That is another difference from the West. Uh, only if you had um, uh, contact to the West, mm -hmm. and uh, then when you had your coming out, there were centers. That means you had the so-called Klappen, where people met at public toilets. Uh, then you had in Berlin and in some other uh, cities uh, some gay bars. Mm -hmm. some uh, um, 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 meeting places and of course uh, also we are dealing in the film um, with parties uh, with people organized and they had uh, a lot of friends and uh, a lot of people around them and so they organized the party but they were closed yeah. mm -hmm. a, a lot had happened Not privately and, and so so I, I think Maybe it was easy uh, to have sex, but it was not easy really to meet other people so yeah. easily because uh, uh, until the early 80s, and even some people didn't like to go to church groups, I mean, there were no meeting places. I mean, there were only, I, I mean, Berlin had maybe three or four bars. I mean, the lesbians still say that they didn't have one really dedicated bar for lesbians even in Berlin yeah. and I mean uh, so 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 where did they meet because y you couldn't meet or, or, or say we, we are we are grouping here because this was just not allowed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you wouldn't do it under the party's umbrella or the Kulturbund it wasn't allowed and uh, the party until the mid 80s um, um, left it to the churches because they thought okay opposition group and we control everything through Stasi which is a big point also in, in our film and then they realized oh I mean the gays didn't ever really bother us that much I mean why don't we allow them to do it even uh, 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 within our state um, organizations and then they opened uh, youth clubs and many more things were allowed but it was already too late to get all these people back who were already in opposition because of it. And it was even for, for some time it was even difficult uh, to have some contact advertisement or something like that in a newspaper so that you say man is looking for a man. It was for some time it was forbidden, for other times it was allowed. Uh, but people had somehow to hide what they are wanting. Mm -hmm. So that you had an opera fan is looking for opera fan and everybody um, understood that so like I am looking code. for a friend. Yeah. Um, and uh, then um, even the state policy was uh, that. Uh, when the people in Berlin in the 70s wanted to organize their consultation and meeting center uh, for homosexuals, they even were um, uh, sent to the um, um, Council of Ministers and they said, okay, you, it is not forbidden what you are doing, mm -hmm. you have e all rights in the GDR, but what you are doing and what you want to do is against the moral and the ethics of um, uh, our country. You cannot do a group, but you can have gay sex. We don't, uh, it's not forbidden to have gay sex. All we, we, we will allow you. Mm -hmm. You yeah. may have yeah. gay sex and we won't punish it. That was the rule. Mm -hmm. So getting back to the film, what, what yeah. do you think, what kind of information does the film reveal to a contemporary audience? Especially, you know, Berlin 2013. I think Berlin to Nala. a contemporary audience, uh, I think the whole GDR thing uh, uh, is really not over, the whole GDR discussion. I think it's starting to become even more interesting nowadays and even 20 or 22 years after the wall came down. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, what, what we were really looking is like um, uh, to see these people today also, how they reflect on what, uh, what is happening, what they could, uh, uh, what of their political fight and what of their ideas has remained. Uh, um, some of these people 
uh, in the last years or last few years uh, have looked for the first time to their Stasi files and all these things are revealed. For example, also the thing about this first demonstration, the photographs which came out, the first demonstration in the East Block in 1973. These photos, uh, photographs were, were, were taken out of archives or, or found in archives uh, uh, mm. last year, just last year. So there are a lot of things which really go from this past and are very, very actual. I mean, they're very current. Mm -hmm. And this is what we wanted to do. We, we didn't want to make a film which is a closed historical period from here to there, but, but to see how, how people reflect what's really different also today and, mm -hmm. you know, to, to have these uh, 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 long connections in, in, in to the present. Yeah. Yeah, and then we wanted also to show, um, uh, and that is part why we <coughs> decided for these people who are now in the film yeah. uh, how people deal with a situation where their behavior is not allowed. Mm -hmm. That means the strategies and the tactics of people when they are growing up and when they are acting in the surrounding uh, which is hostile to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that is very interesting how people reacted and what they were doing and the courage they had in order to stand against the, um, 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 uh, the main um, um, mainstream. Um, uh, the mainstream thing, yeah. <laughs> imagine for the, for the mainstream. And I think mm -hmm. this is very important because the mainstream is very, very dangerous for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's, and, and, and if, we, if we look from today's perspective and see, you know, like uh, queer sexuality, gay sexuality, I don't mm -hmm. know if gay is still a very contemporary term, but queer se I prefer queer sexuality. Um, Right. Which becomes back more then they didn't which have that expression. Yeah. Exactly. That's why yeah, yeah, we exactly. say. And, and mm -hmm. even even back then, they some of them didn't even say schwul. They would say the older ones. We have people who were born in the 30s, mm -hmm. and they said we were verzaubert. We were enchanted. This yeah. was was their yeah. word. Yeah. I mean, and they kept it, and they are still keeping it today. They still don't yeah. say schwul. Yeah. Yes. And they even they even say they, yeah. they feel bad when they heard it, when they hear the word. Schwul. Okay. Yeah. So so, but how do you think if we talk about this global? discussion which is probably going on right now you yeah. know of sexuality how how does your film contribute to this kind of mindset of global uh, queer uh, sexuality uh, I think it uh, um, first you can you can learn a lot about um, the working together and drifting away or part of the gay and lesbian um, movement, you know, where really the problems are, why gays very often don't really work properly together with the lesbians or, or other groups, you know, why everyone wants to do his thing. The other thing is like, I think the film is very interesting for any, uh, 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 to compare with any country which has a state, uh, 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 I mean, state dictators or or I mean which is uh, uh, more people in in the world live in countries where you have dictators than where you have democracies in numbers and I think uh, you can learn a lot about the way what they did wh how they did it why they did it how how secret services were interested, how people found their ways to go around the secret service and still work together with it. And all these things are still very, very current because you will have it in all countries where uh, uh, um, you will have it in Russia in a very different way. You have it in China, you have it in, in, in North Korea, you have it in Laos, in, in Vietnam, you have it in all these countries, including the, the, the ethnic countries. So I think it contributes to an awareness about how a sexual minority um, expresses itself and also tries to always push the limits or find personal ways around uh, state structures which oppress. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And there's another point, I think that people uh, today who are growing up today, they are so centered on contemporary uh, life that it is um, um, maybe for, for, for the people it would be an interesting look um, back um, what was um, the situation, how was the situation about 30 or 40 or 50 years ago? That means what, were the, what problems, um, the, or which problems the, the people dealt, uh, gays and lesbians and uh, queer people dealt at this time and uh, what did the people do in order to come out, and to come mm -hmm. out publicly? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is also a historical perspective 
uh, which may contribute a little bit to widen up. Mm -hmm. And another thing mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. that I really think it's a very valid film about the GDR because there are a lot of films which are very stereotypic about the GDR, which we see in television, mm -hmm. like a lot of 45 minutes uh, min uh, who mm -hmm. always repeat the same the look on the stage and, and, yeah. Yeah, and everything. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have all these topics in, but it's much, much, much more, um, uh, uh, even also because it's a 90 minute -er. And um, the interesting thing in our film is, I think, that we combine really sexuality with politics mm -hmm. also on a high level, and that, that it's not always this kind of enclosed look on a, on a little gay scene which does everything within itself, but, but has never any connection or, or uh, uh, friction with with politics or with government or all these things so you really have the different levels you also have people gay people who were in the party who were really in upper circles in the party and all this what this really means and i think uh, it's time now to really see that gays always have been in all uh, 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 centers in all areas of society and not always in their little uh, subculture um, and 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 Re, um, retelling the story of their little subculture again and again and again. You know? yes, so yeah. so yeah. this is what really opens a little bit the picture. So it's also a valid film about the GDR. You wouldn't even have to tell it's about gays and lesbians as well. But it's a film about gays and lesbians as well in the GDR and that's mm -hmm. the nice thing about it. But mm -hmm. it's a valid film where you learn a lot about the GDR. I think also what you haven't seen in films before. Yeah, and, and, and then it is, uh, if, you, if you sum it up, uh, it is somehow also a film uh, about the death of a doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, what people dreamed uh, yeah. about in the, in the 50s or in the 60s um, um, when they wanted to build up a new Germany, another Germany, and what came out at the end. Mm -hmm. Because of Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. yeah, just elaborate. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, in the 50s, uh, 60s, of course, uh, uh, and even in the 70s or 80s, I mean, there were we have people in the film who still believed in that the GDR is the better idea yes. for sure, mm -hmm. but just uh, they realized more and more that you know some things didn't really work like that, and all this and this and that, and but this also had to do with like not thinking about things they didn't want to know really but but in general of course uh, 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 when you see some of the uh, films and we have a lot of documentary material in this uh, there's really a lot in it and also a lot of documentary material which hasn't been seen yet which we found in the archives you really see that there was I mean it really was a movement and a lot of people really really believe that they were doing something good at least in the beginning, I can't really look into people's uh, uh, heads, but at least what, what they are saying, they really believe that they are living in a society which is much, much better than the West, which is much, much, much more equal for people and all this, you know. And that's the interesting thing to also see gay, you know, so-called mm -hmm. gay communists. And, and, and so those gay communists also had then big troubles because they didn't want to go into church groups because they said, we are in the GDR, we are in the party, we want to have everything in the party, we want to change the party, but they didn't succeed. The party and the state, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and it was idealistic yeah. and it was somehow like a dream in the beginning and then the circumstance and then the obstacles uh, the obstacles to, to, to this dream they grew and grew and grew and grew and grew mm -hmm. until the end mm -hmm. right. yeah thank you do you want to add something no no no, 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 no thank no, no. you very much for, for coming and I wish you all the best for the screenings and uh, a great reception from the audience here at the festival okay thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much, much. enjoy Thanks. your time yes thank well. you <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs>